episode, come along with us. We're going to the tip. We're going to have a ball. We're following behind Ray along the OTT or the northern side of it and we um, this is probably the most challenging isn't it yeah. that we came across yeah. yeah so not too bad at all See Ray stopping up ahead. He's out of the car and he's just engaging himself because we've got a little bit of a difficult spot up ahead. Quite amazing to see how many people were just standing on the top of um, the dip that we had to go down. Yeah, probably waiting to see if something goes wrong. I reckon. <laughs> yeah, I can probably. have a bit of a laugh. That's right. It wasn't that difficult though. Yeah. to the top of that little bit of a rough spot and there's all these camper trailers and I'll tell you what it must be a bit difficult taking one of them down there. Yeah it would have been. It was a bit bumpy for us. <laughs>
You can tell I love a good waterfall. You can tell by the smile on her face. <laughs> Happy as a pig in. Yeah, in a waterfall. In a waterfall. <laughs> Putting the GoPro outside the vehicle gives us a bit of an idea on the corrugation. We're off now, we've left Elliot and Twin Falls and we're now making our way to the Jardine River crossing where we'll catch the ferry. the um, audio there's a lot of wind um, this is the Jardine ferry so Andrew's just here there he is lining up got a bit to wait obviously someone comes over the other side just one car and caravan go on at a time cost us $175 return so it's a lot of money but anyway it is what it is we can't get any other way, it's um, the only way to get across, so. The PDR is renowned obviously for its corrugation, but where do you reckon the worst was? I reckon it was probably about 20 minutes before the Jardine, or 20 k's before the Jardine and 20 k's after. Yeah. So we had to do a bit of um, ducking off the side of the road and trying to find a bit of smooth stuff because we had the van on the back and yes, yeah, you, you don't want to rattle that to pieces. Had a few nights at Loyalty Beach um, where we were able to see lots and lots of wild horses. Yeah, there's horses everywhere just walking around on the road on the tar and yeah, crazy. We even bumped into our van one time when we went on up the tip and the alarm went off. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Oh, what a sign. What a job. Yeah. No, look at this one there every day. And I don't think we realise how blue it is. Maybe it's cheaper if we do it with four. Could you? Carry. Sometimes it is, yeah. these plants in a pot in Tasmania. Look at it. Just, it just goes wild. I know, they're gorgeous. It's just crazy. Just, just Loyalty Lodge guests. So you're not allowed to eat. Mm -hmm. Where are we please? Wow, look at this. I want that clamshell. Do you think they'd miss it? No. Oh yeah, probably. Rose Brother worked in the Solomons. Manager of Hastings in the Solomons. And they brought back this clam shell like this. <gasps> oh. oh, look at this. There's nothing like the palm trees, is there? I know, to Hey, the holiday. coconut palms just make you go, oh, I'm on holiday.
our next camp spot was at Saisia. We left Loyalty and went to Saisia and we got this beautiful beachfront site and we were there for five days with Ray and Jules and um, we just loved it. It was like we're in Fiji really. It's a lovely spot. It's got a beautiful big wharf where obviously where you catch the um, boat over to Thursday Island and also cargo and transport fuel and other yep. stuff come in there. But um, yeah, beautiful it's spot. pristine. Well, we head off this morning on why we came to the tip. Everybody was hanging to get to that tip. Yeah, that's right. So today we headed off and with Ray and Jewel and we make our way to the most northern part of Australia. Australia. Check it out. It was awesome. but it's very windy. We made it from the bottom of Australia to the top of Australia. Yeah, we've travelled a long way to get this photo. Happy days. Yeah, and we took some shots with Ray and Jules as well. And um, we didn't take any video, you won't believe it, while we were actually down there because I was too busy taking, taking photos, photos for everyone else. <laughs> so oh we'll goodness. just have to go back one day. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I'll tell you what, there's some people there. That's it. What's old mate doing? Oh, he's gonna have a beer bong. <laughs> our way back to the car after taking all the photos of the tip and it's not very long and the tree falls down in front of us oh. couldn't get past no one could get past either way so the boys had to all get out get their chainsaws out of the back of the ute lucky a few blokes at them and we started cutting down the tree yeah and as we cut the tree down the part that was on the road we heard this cracking and stuff and there, there was stuff higher up in the end this whole lot tree of the tree just was straight over the road we stood there i reckon hours probably yeah, two hours two hours to get yeah. through and um in the end one of these big tourist bus things ran it over that ran the stuff over and and came out and then we were all able to pass we had to go through a bit of a bush thing but we got through next stop was the croc tent the iconic croc tent you can't go to the cape without going to the croc tent <laughs> you gotta go in and buy a couple of shirts, Cape York written all over it or whatever. Yeah. You just gotta get some. Yeah. And of course our next stop then was Punson Bay. Well I'm pretty impressed with this place. Hey. I'm pretty impressed with this place. 
Yeah. It'd be a bit hard to get the van in here, that's I reckon. That's what I just said. Like, that's what said to Andrew. Purple. That's what you've got to book. Glamping. Yep. There's lots, lots of people. Are they staying here? They're no. They're just here. They just came in after doing whatever. They came in through a different track. There must be yeah. a different track to come back. Probably the one bird lady took. Oh, there's our other mates. Our intention was to have lunch here at Brunson Bay. We heard so much about their pizzas and that, but we were there at the wrong time. Well, yeah, thanks to the tree over the road, we yeah. got there far too late. So anyway, we didn't have a pizza, we just had a beer, didn't yep, we? Yep, just had a beer and on our way. Yeah. Last stop for the day was to go and check out the crash site at Bamagar Airport. When you take the four-wheel drive track in, you come across all these 44-gallon drums that were left over from the wall. And this is the remainder of the aeroplane that crashed there. Well guys, that's the end of episode three of our trip to Cape York. We've had an absolutely blast, amazing time. We had a great time. Yeah, we really did. Experienced things that we didn't think we could ever see, you know? Uh, yeah, exactly right. And I think, you know, um, our plan all along was to go to the tip. That's been a bucket list for us for a very long time. And, and to know that we've been able to do it yep. um, and do it safely and the van came with us um, was just a, a journey of a lifetime, yeah, really. Yeah. And to yeah. come all the way from Tasmania to the tip, yeah right, mind blowing yeah exactly so guys if you like the content that you see today on the episode feel free to give us a thumbs up give us yep. a like yep. and top it off you can even subscribe if you give like give us a comment too yeah, we like to know how we're good. going yep exactly so we really thank you for taking the time to watch our channel and um our next episode will be around a fortnight um and that will be at thursday island so we'll take you with us see Bye. you then